All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Liveware application. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use select two with Liveware. So first of all, let me give you the demo of what we're going to build on this video so that you will have some idea before we start. So if I click on add new appointments over here, you see this new input over here and here I'm using select two. And while using select two, we can select multiple items from this list like this. And these are the dummy data for now. You can make this data as dynamic as well. So let's add a new appointments with this client with this data for now. Let's imagine these are the members. And then select this date, select this time, and then let's click on save. And it got saved successfully. So let me show you in our database. And it is added over here. And those items are saved as text in the format of array so now if i go to edit appointments over here and these items are pre-filled and we can delete those items or we can add more items for now let me delete this and click on save and it got saved so let me go back to the database and it got removed from here as well so let's get started building this functionality okay so let's start by adding the field over here so we'll be using this one and if we go to forms and then advanced element you will see that here is the field called multiple and let's do view page source okay let me find for multiple and then let me grab this one let me go back to create appointment form and over here let's do over here let me paste it okay and then we need to do wrap it with the one div so let me indent it and then let's wrap this with another div div with the class of pool and the six right and then let me move this inside okay now let me indent it okay fine so now let's see it in our browser and it is added over here so let's see what is the issue form group and then we missed another div okay and I think everything is fine. Yes, now we see it. So let's indent it again. Now the second step is to install select two. So first of all, let's change this name as well. Let's keep name as level as select. So let's selecting members okay fine so we have already installed this theme so if we go to view page source and then let me source for select two okay and we need to use this css so let me go to the main layouts for after blended psp and then over here we can go to the top and we paste it okay so I remove this and use asset backend plugins and we have already this installed on our system and then let me go and grab the JavaScript as well let me go to the end and here you see the javascript so let's use that over here okay let's do the same asset backend and then plugins 
Yep. Let me show you that these are inside of public and then backends and then plugins. We already have those plugins available. Okay. Fine. So now if I refresh the page, we will not see any changes. So first things we need to initialize like two on this element, right? So let's do that. Over here. Let me add a new script tag. Over here, let me use the sort in for documented ready. Function. Okay. Now we need to select the specific element. So let's say select two. Oh, this is the class name of the element. So let me show you that. And it is over here. Select two. And on this specific element, we need to initialize select two. So for that, we need to do dot select two. Okay. Now let me go back and refresh the page, and it got initialized. And it is working, but we don't see this text properly, right? So to fix this. We need to use the theme called Bootstrap 4 because we are using Bootstrap 4, right? So for that, we need to pass object over here, and then we can do something like theme, and then Bootstrap 4. Okay, let's try this again. Yes, now everything is looking good. Now let's go to create appointment form component class create appointment form and then over here let me do die and done this stage okay let me refresh this and if I select this select this one let's select this state and then click on save and we don't get that value right we don't get that value so we need to make this workable this is a weird issue while using liveware so so to fix this we need to listen for the change event so let's do that let me go to app.ledgers.psp and then over here we can listen for the change event using dot on change let's pass the closer and let me do a lot here now if we change this and we get a lot message if i change this to another item we get the alert message perfect so while changing we can simply set the values using dollar this okay let's do dollar this dot set and then we can set the value state dot members to this dot value so let me describe this first here dollar this refers to this element and we can get the value from here while it is changing and the thing dollar this is specific to liveware so we cannot use outside of liveware component so if i save and click on refresh then you will get this error trying to get property id of a non-object because this directory is specific to liveware and we cannot use outside of component liveware component so we need to place this script inside of our component so let me remove it from here and i think we have uh, created a stack called js so let me go to create appointment form and at the end over here we can use that script so let me end it now if i refresh the page we don't see the error so here dollar this what it returns so let's see what it returns so let me go to the top and then let me do dollar this and you see here it is returning window.liveware.find so let me open up the console and then let me paste it and then hit enter and it is returning the proxy and on the proxy we can use dot set method to set the values 
on the public properties which is on create appointment form you can set this you can set the values over here so you can simply do dot set and then we need to pass uh, this name so for uh, for here we need to do state dot members right because we are using areas so we need to use state and then dot members and as a second argument we need to pass the value so for now let's pass this array which is let me use this value taxes access if i hit enter and here this line got executed and we see this way design issue again so to fix this design issue we need to do wire ignore so let's do that let me go to create appointment form and then over here let me do where ignore let me refresh the page again and it is giving this new instance so let me paste it and we can call the set method and we want to set state dot members to let's say taxes Right, and while executing this code, it will send a network request. So let me clear this and then show you. Yeah, it is written in undefined, and if we go to network tab, it it is sending the exact request to the server. Okay, perfect. So now let me close this and then try adding this client with these items. With appointment date and appointment time and click on save and now we got the members and it is areas of two items which is perfect so now we are on track so let me go back to create appointment form and we need to save those values right so over here let's define the members and then let's make this as nullable right and we haven't this uh, added this field on our database so let's add that field now so let me open the terminal and let's do dsp artisan make migration add members field to appointments table right now let me open this file called add members field to appointments table and over here we can do a table we need to define this as text because we are storing those areas as text so let's do members let's make this as nullable and by default let's, let's set as null okay on on drop table drop column the column name is members so now let me do PSP artisan migrate and then this got added to our database. Yes, it got added over here. So let me go to appointment and then before that let me show you what to create appointment form. Let me remove this one, right? Now we don't need it. back to this space refresh it and then add new appointment with these items and if i click on save you i expect to see one error called array to spring conversion because we are trying to save those errors in our database but before saving that we need to convert that to text so to convert that to text we can simply do you can go to appointment model and over here on the cast array we need to define the field or attributes name is members and we want to cast that to array right so let me return back refresh the page again and then let me try one more time with these values 
point pen date point pen time and click on save now it got saved successfully perfect and if i click on refresh this page and it got added over here as well we are done with adding the appointments right now if i click on edit we don't have that field so let's do that now let me go to create appointment form let me copy everything from here and go back to update appointment form and then over here let me paste that code so let me add javascript as well and in the next lesson we will see how we can use this or how we can reuse this same component so for now let me copy this and paste it over here okay so now let me refresh the page and you see the items but it didn't got prefilled right so to fix that let me go to the top and let's add wire model over here wire model to state dot members right if i do that we got free field which is fine and let me add new items and if i click on save it got saved and it got sent to our database as well right so if we go to update appointment form component class we already have this state available and we are filling that state with appointments to array so it is automatically working right so this means for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and in the next video we will see how we can create the reusable components so till then stay tuned and have a great time and i will see you on the next one